Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and as a dedicated hero player in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, I just had to bring some attention to the new Evil Hero lineup that has been announced for the OCG coming in October through the new Supreme Darkness Pack, a GX-themed pack which puts a lot of focus on the later seasons of that show, and the whole Supreme King kind of story arc. So let's get into it, shall we? Our first card, as it says here, Konami have revealed a preview of what's to come in Supreme Darkness. Check out the new card. Very good. Right. For starters, we have Evil Hero Toxic Bubble. You can only use either of its effects at once per turn. First effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn, except hero monsters. If this card is special summoned and you control a fusion monster that must be special summoned with dark fusion, draw two cards. Excellent. So we now have a evil hero equivalent of Bubble Man slash Neo Bubble Man. Level 4 Water Fiend. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. That's a... Uh... Good for your draws, actually. Good for your draws. Now this, this card right here, is probably... I've been through this set already, but I'm just reading them back for people who are interested in the news and the info. This one for me is probably the goat of the set. Evil Hero Doom Prison. We have a Prisma equivalent for Evil Heroes now. You can special summon with this card, with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Same with the Toxic Bubble. Right, if you control a fusion monster that must be special summoned with Dark Fusion, you can special summon this card from your hand. This second effect right here is the one that's interesting me more. The special summon, great, excellent. You can send one hero monster from your deck to the graveyard, if you fusion summon a hero monster this turn, this face-up card can be used as a substitute for any fusion material whose name is mentioned on it. But the other materials must be correct. Right, so this is basically the equivalent of... It's basically a foolish. Now, it's the effect of Prisma in a sense, but you don't have to send the specific material. You can send any monster. And this is excellent, because it allows you to pretty much enter into combo chains this way. You could send Malicious, for example, and then start comboing using Malicious. You could also use this thing as a means to send Sinister Necrom and pull another evil hero from your deck, which will pretty much allow you to open up into any kind of combo line you want. You could even send Shadow Mist for searching abilities. So really, this card is probably the strongest of the set in my opinion, but we're going to cover the others. Right, Evil Hero, Infernal Rider. Level 6 Wind Fiend Effect Monster. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Dark Fusion from your deck. Or graveyard to your hand. Excellent. So able to pull Dark Fusion off this thing. Second effect is a bit quirky for me. You can banish this card and four other monsters from your graveyard. Take one Super Poly from your deck. Also until the end of your opponent's turn. You cannot special summon except hero monsters. But you can fusion summon fusion monsters that must be special summoned with Dark Fusion. With effects other than it. Right. So, first of all, even though the cost is kind of high here with that second effect, the ability to be able to pull Super Poly from deck is really, really solid. Be able to set it from deck to field and then have the ability to basically go into evil hero monsters without the dark fusion requirement, really solid. And as I was saying a minute ago with the Doom Prison card, right? You could really just go Doom Prison, Sinister Necrom, 
pull Infernal Rider out, this new card here. So you could go straight into that line, be setting Super Polys directly from deck, which is quite solid, actually. And just really get into anything you want early on. Next up, and perhaps, perhaps the card with the coolest design of the bunch, Neos Lord. We finally have a Neos card for the evil hero archetype. Right, level 10 Dark Fiend fusion effect monster. Your typical Neos stats. Requirements, elemental hero Neos, or one fusion monster that mentions it, plus one effect monster on the field. Very low requirements. Very low requirements. Must be special summon with dark fusion, of course. And you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is special summoned, or if a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard while this monster is on the field, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, take control of it. So, there are many ways you can get into this. Hard fuse into it through the dark fusion option. I believe you'll be able to go super poly. Well, no, you can go super poly into this thing through the effect of the or the effect of the card listed above, the Infernal Rider card. And I also believe, provided you have a applicable card on the field, you'd be able to favorite contact into this, wouldn't you? Like, say, for example, because favorite contact allows you to special from various zones. I believe it's, it's hand, field, deck, it's hand, field, deck, graveyard, and banishment zone, isn't it? It's just about everywhere. Egg, nor, wait, no. Hand, field, yeah, it's hand, field, graveyard, banishment zone. It's everywhere but deck. I apologize. I'm going to retract what I just said there. Um, so you could essentially favorite contact into this thing as well on your opponent's uh, opening turn if you go first and just use it to snatch a card and impede their setup. And a good option there. Also cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Very nice. Design there. Excellent. Next card. Evil Hero Infernal Wing Infernal Backlash. Avion or Bastinatrix plus one hero monster. Must be special summon with Dark Fusion. Yep, obviously. You can only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can add one Dark Fusion or card that mentions it from your deck or graveyard to the hand, except a fusion monster. Okay. Second effect is a lot juicier. If your hero monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, Inflict 2100 damage to them. Nice. Very nice. This thing burns. I personally probably will not use it as much as the other parts mentioned above, but that's a really solid option there. It is usable. Very easy to summon. Everything's going to be very easy to summon with the um, some of the new synergy stuff you'll see below. Next up. Evil Hero Dark Knight. Now this right here, for me, feels like an equivalent to Neos Knight, but Evil Hero. Earth Fiend Fusion Effect Monster. Zero defense, 1600 attack. One Fiend Monster, one Warrior. Monsters you, your opponent controls, lose attack equal to the total original attack of the fusion materials used for this card's summon. So it debuffs everything on field. Very good. Can make a second attack during each battle phase. Even better. If this face-up special summon card you control leaves the field by your opponent, you can target one fiend or warrior monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. So, once this thing goes, you can then pull from graveyard and perhaps start basically setting up for more combos in the following turn. Say, for example, you pull a Shadow Mist out of Grave. Mass change, Dark Law, good option. Very good option. I like this thing. 
may I just say that some of the card art that I have seen so far is very impressive. What's next? Dark Contact. Okay. Normal spell card. Activate one of these effects, but you can only use each of these cards with that. Activate one of these effects, but you can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. So, fusion summon one fusion monster. There must be special summoned with dark fusion from your extra deck by shuffling its materials from the field, graveyard, and or banishment zone into the deck. This is treated as a fusion summon with dark fusion. Getting favorite contact vibes off this. And also the option to add one Supreme King's Castle or Dark Fusion from deck to hand. So we now have a solid setup piece as well for um, evil heroes. This could see a lot of um, play, to be honest. A lot of play, depending on how people want to configure their hero decks. I'm probably going to use pieces of this alongside the standard sort of hero deck that you see 2024 to just kind of reinforce it i think that's the route i'm going to go down now this right here this one right here when i first saw this i was like "Ooh, this is pretty interesting evil assault normal spell card you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn so this card one card you can also special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Except hero monsters. Also take one level 4 or lower evil hero monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. This thing is basically the equivalent of... or the evil hero equivalent of favorite contact with a much lighter cost. I mean, let's be honest. If you pull this thing into your hand, and you've got a Mali already in hand, you banish the Mali. You then grab the Doom Prison. You special the Doom Prison directly. And then you go in to either dump Sinister Necron, go into the Evil Rider, or you go into dumping the Denier, and then you've just got full combo trees. This is like, essentially adding more consistency more consistency across the board now this this card art phenomenal dark supremacy you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn target face up cards your opponent controls up to the number of dark fusion and spells that mention it in your graveyard negate their effects until the end of this turn if if this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it, then target up to five hero monsters in your graveyard and or banishment zone, shuffle them back into the deck. So it's a negate. It's, uh, again, an evil hero equivalent to protection of the elements, based on negation for the number of face-up cards the opponent has with that. Target face up card your opponent controls up to the number of dark fusion and spells that mention it in your graveyard. Right. So, yeah, it's a very solid negate. That's actually really quite good. And I did miss one effect on the evil assault. If this card is in your graveyard, except the card that it was sent there, you can banish it, add one dark fusion from your graveyard to your hand. So, there's a lot of rechargeability, a lot more fusion potential new combo lines there's definitely a lot that this opens up now for me looking through all these cards the things that i'm going to be adding in we're going to forget the toxic bubble in my own opinion won't bother with that i've got liquid soldier and that's good enough for combo lines and uh, fusion as far as i'm concerned the toxic bubble probably won't see as much action Maybe maybe a sideboard piece. We'll um we'll see. Doom Prison, absolutely. Like I said, the um the opening up of lines in your deck through this thing, absolutely unreal. It can just open up into anything. 
it's it's solid. You can go any which direction you want in your deck using this thing. It just more fluidity. And say, for example, you've got both an evil assault and a hero lives in hand, right? You hero lives, the hero lives get ashed. You um go into evil assault and go straight into doom prison and just carry on. Carry on. For me personally, this is coming in. Infernal Rider, now. Infernal Rider runs the risk of being a brick if drawn, or provided you have, say, a Varus or something with the potential to bin it easily available, so you can have access to it later. Either a way to bring it straight out from deck or bin it and activate its secondary effect once you're done comboing. This thing can be useful. Neos Lord absolutely going in. It's going to be a way to hamper an opponent's setup. And it's got protection. And on top of the protection it's already got, with it being summoned through anything akin to Dark Fusion, it's not going to be able to be destroyed by a battle or card effect, or even targeted by effects. So, for the first turn it's here, there are very few ways you're going to get it off the board. I already know how I'm going to tweak my deck, to be honest. For me, I'm going to trim mass change down from 3 to 2, slip the, um, slip the dark fusion in, I'm going to probably put the Ferris engine, or the Ferris part of the engine down to 2, Put the um, Doom Prison in. Probably just make a couple more tweaks and adjustments. Gonna swap Rota for the Evil Assault. And just slide the other bits and pieces that we need in. Sinister Necrom too. And um, probably a Super Poly. Maybe run it at 43. With the... With the addition of level 5s and 6s going in that are more just for the bin than anything else, or for the special summon, you do kind of run the risk of the deck being, shall we say, even more prone to clogging, because the hero deck with its large, quite unwieldy engine is already prone to clogging. I mean, to be fair, with the Infernal Rider being a 6, it's already a valid fusion target for DPE. So another level 6 that I could swap out for this thing is Wing Karibo. So there's an option. We take Wing Karibo out for the Infernal Rider, on top of the other pieces that I've just mentioned, and maybe just slip an extra card in to run this thing at 43. Either way, these are really solid, and I'm just really scratching the surface on the things that some of these cards can do. You could you could basically run um a largely evil hero deck now and have it be I wouldn't say it's gonna be the most overpowered thing in the world, but it's definitely going to be viable. And having people say, oh yeah, evil heroes are actually viable. Wonderful. But in terms of acting as support pieces to the wider hero deck. These just open things up colossally. Anyway, these are just some thoughts from somebody who plays pretty much nothing but heroes. I'm a dedicated hero player. I, I don't play anything else. So yeah, anyway, these have just have been my kind of ramblings and discussion of the cards. So those of you who've enjoyed yourselves and want to check out some more Yu-Gi-Oh, feel free to like and sub. Join our, join our channel. Getting close to 2,000. A special thank you to our channel members and silver patrons at the time of this video. Mr. Jonathan, Reese Free, Jay, Kota Okami, Jacob the Dabbler, and Julio. It is very much appreciated. And to the rest of you who have stopped in, you've been super awesome, and thank you very much for stopping in, and I'll see you in the next one. So guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, guys.